Hi, Bob Hot Rod Roar with Kalafi. I want to talk about dirt separation now. Dirt separation, um, it comes in many forms and there's different products on the market for doing that. Typically over the years we've used a device like this and this is called a Y strainer. And a strainer, just as the name implies, it, stra it strains the particles out as they come through here. So imagine what's happening with this device here is the fluid comes in here and then it's going to go down through the center of that basket and it's really the mesh um, size in that basket that's going to trap the debris that's going through there and filter it out of the system. But what happens with this, the, the, um, the downside of this type of device, is that it can plug up this uh, strainer in here and then you've got to take the strainer out and either flush it out or take it, remove it sometimes and take it out and clean it out. So it's got a limited application. There is a place for this and I like to see these used um, maybe by an air handler at your final uh, where you're going to have a balancing valve or a zone valve. We're going to get the bigger debris out at the central uh, dirt removal device down in the um, mechanical room, but this is going to catch anything at the very final terminal units like an air handler or something like that. So um, if you are going to use a Y strainer, this is a great one. The Kalefi, it's all brass. And what we do here is we give you two uh, test ports and you can screw pressure gauges in there. So now you can see when that element's getting plugged up and you know it's time to service it. Because what's going to happen with this device is it starts to plug up, the flow going through it is reduced and you might reduce it to a point um, we're going to start the pump downstream or something like that and cause problems. So limited application, um, we're going to show you what we think is a better way to do it with our Dirt Cal series. And so now what we're doing, let me get a cutaway, I think it illustrates this better. What a Dirt Cal does, it's called a dirt um, separator. So we're separating the dirt instead of filtering the dirt out in a uh, cartridge type or a, a strainer type like I just showed you, we're actually going to cause it to separate from the fluid stream and drop to the bottom of this, gets trapped in the bottom and now we can flush it out so it never um, affects the fluid stream going through it. So a median there, as the flow comes through, bumps into those uh, veins on the media and that forces it to settle down to the bottom of it. At the bottom now we give you a ball valve because now you can just flush that debris out so come back with a, uh, put a bucket under it, put a wash machine or a little garden hose on it and you can flush the debris out. What I like to do on the first time when I uh, flush one of these out is get like a white five gallon bucket so when you flush it out you can see what you're flushing out because uh, dirt and rust never sleep, they're in all your systems, trust me, you just don't know it. And this is a device you'd be amazed what this is going to pull out that you never thought was in the system. So. A couple other features on this here, we give you a little convenience port on the top of that, a little uh, half inch threaded connection that you can use for uh, some people like to screw a pressure gauge in there, you can put a temperature well in there, it's just a convenience outlet for you. These are available in um, <clears throat> uh, thread and sweat versions, we've got three quarter through uh, two inch thread and sweat versions. This works on the same principle that we use on our uh, air elimination devices and the big diameter, the large diameter bell is what causes the fluid that's coming through here to reduce its velocity enough that it can do a good job of separating it out. So it's a, um, the bell has a lot to do with the performance of this, the size of that bell and stuff. A cap on the bottom. So let me show you some other versions of this that we offer. Knowing that there's a lot of um, wall hung boilers that are becoming uh, popular on the market, uh, tankless style heaters and stuff like that that are combination boilers and heaters, most of those are going to have the combination uh, water and heat exchanger in them so we want to protect that from dirt and debris. So they'll have piping coming either out of the top or at the bottom. So we said, well, what, what if we came up with a device that could be piped in on vertical piping without having to make a bunch of uh, offset with 90. So this is what we call our vertical um, uh, dirt cal. It's available in uh, three quarter and one inch sizes, um, threaded and sweat. And so we cast that right into it, the passageway. So now as the fluid comes into this and it's bi-directional, you can either come from the top down, from the bottom up. Fluid's going to come through the little passageway in there, forces it go through the immediate, drops the particles to the bottom. Fluid comes back out after it's been scrubbed clean and goes out the top. Now again, this is going to be a multi-pass device. It's going to get the big particles on the first trip through, but as the flow goes through there a number of times, it's going to filter out down to a five micron size particle, much smaller than what you're going to get with any type of Y strainer. So you can see why this is going to be um, a much more efficient product than just a uh, strainer. We're going to take that one step further for you. A new product for us. This is called a dirt mag. What's happening in systems out there as time goes by is a lot of the early radiant systems were put in with non-barrier tubing. 
And what happens with a non-barrier tubing system on radiant or baseboard systems is it allows oxygen through the wall of the tubing and that oxygen can cause corrosion. And what it's going to form in there is what we call black oxide and it's a very, it's almost like a powdered graphite. It's a very fine, uh, uh, almost like talcum powder consistency and it's tough to get that out with a strainer certainly or even a uh, separator like I showed you. So we said, well, what's a good way to catch that knowing that it's a, a magnetic particle? We said, what if we put a, a magnetic collar on this? So we've got a high, um, a high powered magnets that we put on this ring. So now the fluid comes through here. The media, if, if you can see in there, causes the particles to fall down there, but this is going to grab the fine particles that are entrained in the water stream that weren't going to be separated out by the median there. And now what you do with this device, after it runs for a day or two, you come back, pop that off like that, now you open the bottom of it and what you're going to get out of there, and we've tried this, is you're going to get a glass of water that looks like it's uh, got like black tea in it or something like that. It's going to be a super small particle in there and it's that iron oxide and you don't want that in your system because this is what's starting to happen. More and more on the market we're seeing these ECM pumps and they have permanent magnets in it and this black oxide is getting stuck to the uh, bearings and to the rotors on those permanent, on those, uh, permanent magnet motors. So we said we're going to catch it before it has a chance to get to your motor. So the manufacturers that are making those pumps were just uh, ecstatic when they saw us bring this product out on the market. So um, that's what we're going to call our dirt mag, the mag of course for the magnet in it. Same uh, function there. That happens to be a two inch size. You can see the size of the bore on that. We can get some pretty good flow through that. Let me show you one more handy accessory that we have for the Dirt Mag and the Dirt Cal series. And it's as I call it a Michelin Man. That's what the shape of it is. But it's a three piece insulation uh, clamshell jacket that goes around it, seals it up on the top and the bottom. It's a great accessory for both uh, series. But right at this size here, at this two inch, is where we cross over to a steel version. And the steel version, over here is more of a commercial product. And so this will be a flange version that I'm showing you here. But really we're doing the same thing inside here is we've got a median here. In this case we're going to use a stainless steel uh, median there that's going to do the same job as the composite and the other and cause the, the dirt particles to fall to the bottom of this. While we're here, a couple nice features on this. We've got rings for mounting it. So if you want to suspend this with some clevis hangers and some threaded rod, you can hang it from here instead of just hanging it on the pipe. This is available as a listed product also. There's one you can see we've got the, um, the ASME listing on it. We've also had the Canadian listings on it. With this we're going to give you two um, other components. We're going to give you a full port one inch ball valve that screws on the bottom of so you can really flush some big debris out of that and flush it out quickly. Same convenient port at the top. We're even going to give you a brass cap. Uh, sometimes um, installers like to put an air vent on there so you can get a little air elimination as well as the, um, um, the dirt elimination with this. There you have it, the Dirt uh, Cal lineup from Calefi, probably the most extensive lineup of dirt separators on the market. Give them a try. You're going to like them.